Hey YouTube, I'm Darth Trader and this is my G1 Transformers Universe channel where I discuss and review all things related to the G1 Transformers toys and collectibles universe. And today is my first video. I hope it goes well and I hope you enjoy and find it informative. Uh, I did have an entirely different plan scheduled for my very first video, but I walked into the Dollar Tree dollar store here in Pittsburgh yesterday and I found this little box of awesomeness, a completely unopened 24 pack of the new Transformers G1 Universe keychains. So I had to buy it. It does contain 24 individually packaged Transformers keychains featuring Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Soundwave, and Megatron. So I wanted to do this video today because I want other collectors to be able to head out to the Dollar Tree and grab some of these for themselves before they're sold out. Uh, so let's get this box open, take a look and see what we've got inside, and we will go from there. Okay guys, I've got them all unboxed and laid out here for you to look at, so you can see them all together before we get into our individual reviews of each one. The box did contain 24 individually wrapped Transformers keychains. It had seven Optimus Primes seven bumblebees, seven megatrons, but for some reason only three sound waves. I'm guessing they're thinking he's going to be the most popular one of them and they want people to collect more, but who knows, they're only a dollar so it doesn't really affect anything all that much. Uh, the artwork is great and it does say on the back there that it is authentic Transformers merchandise. So I will take them on their word, I guess. Either way, it's only a dollar, and they're well worth having. I would have liked to have, like I said, had six complete sets, but I'll take three. Now, let's get these guys opened up and take a look at each one of them a little bit more in depth. Okay, guys, let's take a look at Megatron first. All hail Megatron. Uh, let's see. The artwork is great on all of the packaging. A little bit of bending, a little bit of minor paintwork, but for a dollar, what can you really expect? I'm extremely happy with the quality for a dollar. And let's see, on the back, it does say, like I said before, it does show as an authentic transformer. The artwork on the back is the same for all four keychains, and it shows a cartoon accurate Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Soundwave, and Megatron. So let's get this guy opened up and see what he looks like. And here's Megatron outside of his plastic prison. This is an amazing little figure. Um, he does stand his one leg slightly angled and shorter than the other, so he can't stand up straight without propping him a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it's it's a beautifully displayable figure. Very little paint bleed on this particular one that I opened. I did see some of them have more paint bleed than others and are a little sloppier than others. But this one's pretty good. And if you look on the back, it does say on the back of the figure, copyright 2019 Hasbro. So I guess they really are official, which makes sense looking at the figure because the quality is just so great on the mold. Um, there are very few little marks, like that's one little mold mark. I'll be able to trim that down just a little bit, and he'll look awesome. Uh, but that's Megatron. Really nice looking figure. And they're just slightly larger than the G1 rubber decoys, just for a point of comparison. So, let's move on to Soundwave. Next up is Decepticon Soundwave. Another awesome looking little figure. I'm not going to go into detail on each individual one's packaging because they're all completely identical to one another. So let's get him opened up and see what he looks like. And here is Soundwave. Now he does stand straighter than Megatron does. His legs are of the same length. Again, same quality paint job. 
for the most part. A little splotch here and there. Um, I picked out the best one to open. So there's very little paint bleed anywhere on him. And again, on the bottom is the Hasbro copyright. Another awesome little figure. Next up, we have Autobot Bumblebee. Let's get him opened up. And here is Bumblebee, the little Volkswagen bug that could. Again, pretty good paint job overall. Certainly far more than you'd expect for a dollar figure. Again, 2019 Hasbro copyright. And that is Bumblebee. And finally, we have the fearless Autobot leader, Optimus Prime. All right, let's get him out of the package. Finally, the fearless leader of the Autobots, Optimus Prime himself. Now this figure was a little sloppier overall than the others on the paint job, especially around the, the eyes and the face mask there. This again is one of the better ones of the lot. Um, still very good looking, not terrible, but just a little more noticeable on this figure because there's a few more little small details on him to be aware of. Again, the Hasbro copyright. And there we go. That is Optimus Prime. And now we've freed them all from their little plastic prisons. They're standing here in their full glory and ready to become a part of your team. Uh, these are really awesome little figures. Uh, you can't beat it for a dollar. I've not seen any other Transformers merchandise for a dollar that was actually worth even a dollar these guys are amazing uh i can't say enough about them get out to your local dollar tree store see if you can find some of these to add to your collection right away before they run out and if you're not a collector and you're watching this and you know somebody who is these guys would make awesome stocking stuffers this year so grab a few of them give them to the ones you love or put them on the shelf in your own collection, or heck, for a dollar, actually use them as a keychain. Hey, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of My G1 Transformers Universe. I'm Darth Trader, and if you liked what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. We've got more great videos to come in the weeks and months ahead, and I look forward to continuing My G1 Transformers journey with you.